Hey everyone, it's Rock for Cash, People's Champ, coming to you live from Cash Stadium. And here we are to review week eight of the FNFL, the game we all love. Um, but before we start, we always have a song. Uh, this week's song was requested by um, The Dark Side, actually. Uh, got in touch with me on Saturday and said uh, he would like to have a song um, played. So, But before we do that, he wanted me to... Uh, do a bit of a uh, read of something that um, is uh, dear to his heart. Um, so the song we're going to have is Under Pressure by David Bowie and Annie Lennox and Queen from the Freddie uh, Mercury Tribute Concert 1992. And Damo uh, wanted to say, not every NFL player has the Jedi traits and abilities of a Marshawn Lynch or a Barry Sanders. The NFL needs to step up to mentor and constantly educate these guys who leave a controlled college environment to become an instant rock star who can have their career and world collapse from an incorrect moment of choice. Share the marsh on wisdom. Players like Peterson and Rice are perfect examples. Beautiful words there by the uh, MILF Hunter. So we'll play this song, have it going in the background. So let's see who, who's up who and who hasn't paid. Week eight of the FNFL. And week eight was very, very kind to the cash. Very, very kind indeed. The cash getting over the line over our little waiters. 78.40 to 73.08. Uh, for the cash, um, Aaron Rodgers got 22. Peterson got 10. Kelchie got 12. Saints defense got 10. Uh, little Waiters had Russell Wilson. He's going to be good, that kid, 13. Sanders, 22. And the other player was the Terminator, James Connor. Got 21. Needed 26 um, on the final day. And he got the 21. Cash was very happy when he went down with a shoulder injury with two minutes, 10 to go. The Steelers were pushing, they were rushing. And yeah, the cash was very, very relieved indeed. Um, again, the cash very excited about this win. Always struggles against Danielle. He'd lost, I think, his last four or five against her. So good to see the cash back on the winning. Uh, that's two in a row for the cash now. Um, and just the one loss to the little waiters. Um, in the next game... Um, some would say this might have been an upset, but um, I think I might have tipped this one. Smooth Criminal, 120.4, defeated Mitch's Mongrels, 91.5. Uh, Smooth Criminal, led by Cook on 23, Montgomery, 20. Mike Evans, 31.8, and the Steelers' defence, 16. Uh, for Mitch's Mongrels, some good contributors. Howard got 17. McCaffrey... They have a consistent McCaffrey, 23.5. Fairburn, 10. The 49ers, 19. Um, but, yeah, it was sort of close there halfway through the game. But, yeah, Smooth Criminal kicked away. So that's two losses in a row now for um, Mitch's Mongrels. Smooth Criminal on a roll now with three wins in a row. So well done to her. Uh, in the next game... This is an interesting game too. Little River Giants up against Money Makers 8. Little River Giants winning 93.48 to Money Makers 8, 92.16. Um, Kenyon Drake, uh, an IR or an inactive, uh, was left in the side uh, by Sean. Genius move in the end. Um, couldn't fumble, couldn't do anything wrong for him. Uh, he was already in front by that... Uh, 1.32, so brilliant move by Sean. I'm sure Money Makers 8 was absolutely spewing um, that that had happened. But for Little River Giants, Goff got 22, Hopkins got 10, Hooper got 12, Lambo got 10, the Patriots 23. Amazing the Patriots defense this year. They're actually the highest scoring, um, if you want to call them a player uh, this year, they're higher scoring than any actual player this defense. Uh, for Moneymakers, 8. Josh Allen got 13. Tavius Murray got 27. And the Jags' defence got 18. So 
That's three wins in a row for uh, Little River Giants and a loss there for Money Makers. So Little River Giants looking good at the moment. Um, in the next game, this was talked up a lot, but it really didn't deliver. Uh, team Mazza talked his team up as he usually does, and it didn't deliver. The dark side, 113.28, beat Team Mazza 91.66. Team Mazza did say that he's getting pissed off against playing against the uh, almost highest scoring um, team every week and losing uh, for the dark side. Uh, Stafford got 19, Carson got 15. Uh, the Cupster, 28. Myers, uh, 12. Vikings defense, 14. For Team Mazza, Deshaun Watson, ranked number one player in the league, 24. Gurley got 10, Barkley got 20, Metcalf got 13. Um, so that's four straight losses in a row for um, Team Mazza. They're sli sliding down the ladder, the ladder a little bit. Uh, and that puts the dark side back on the winner's list. Uh, in the next game, <coughs> again, this one was talked up a lot. Sheba Kamini up against Young Remix Killers. Sheba Kamini, 82.36, lost to... Cavs team, 121.44. They're back in a little bit of form. Uh, for the remix killers, Winston got 16. Tevin Coleman got 35.8. Had four touchdowns. Juju got 16. Finally got some points on the board. Chark got 13. Gonzalez got 11. Uh, for Shiba Kamini, Tom Brady got 15. Edelman got 19. Vinatieri got 14, and the Rams defense 11. Uh, young remix killers, that's put them back on the winners list after losing the cash last week. Shiva Kamini, um, clearly the worst team in the FNFL at the moment on a five game losing streak. Um, in the final game, this is the upset of the year. Um, how a team can score 51 week and get up and beat an undefeated side the next week's beyond me, but that's what Archie's All-Stars did. 124.26, defeated the Browns 118.22. It's only six points in it in the end, but um, geez, great win by Archie's All-Stars. Those Alter boys won't be able to walk for a week after he finishes with them. Uh, for Archie's All-Stars, uh, Minshew got 21, Mac 15, Freeman 10, Julio 15, Golladay 22, Ingram 10, Diggs 12, Chargers 12. Um, for the Browns, Tannehill got 16, uh, Fournette got 13, Plugger got 12, Thomas 16, Aaron Jones, what a great year he's having, got 34.6, and Titans got 13. Um, so yeah, massive, massive upset there with Archie's All-Stars beating the Browns. The Browns now have lost their first game for the year, so I'm able to start tipping against them now. Um, and Archie's All-Stars were back on the winners list. So just as a recap, Rock for Cash beat Little Waiters, Smooth Criminal beat Mitch's Mongrels, Little River Giants beat Moneymakers 8, The Dark Side beat Team Mazza, Young Remix Killers beat... Shiva Kamini and Archie's All-Stars beat the Browns. So that leads us on to the ladder. Um, at the moment, the Browns are still on top. Seven wins, one loss. Um, net followed by Archie's All-Stars and the Dark Side. Six wins, two losses. Followed by Smooth Criminal, who moved up two spots to be five and three. Little River Giants are five and three. And Mitch's Mungles dropped two spots to be five and three. Uh, following in seventh spot, Team Mazza, three and five. Eighth spot, Little Waiters, three and five. Uh, Money Makers are in ninth spot, two and six. Shiva Kamini are two and six. And in eleventh spot, going up a spot, is Young Remix Killers at two and six. And Rock for Cash, even though he won, dropped down to the bottom of the ladder with two and six as well. So just a little preview of what's happening this week in week nine. Only five weeks to go before the finals. Uh, Rock for Cash will be taking on Mitch's Mongrels. Little River Giants will be taking on Smooth Criminal. Uh, match of the round, the dark side are taking on the Browns. Archie's All-Stars are taking on Team Mazza. Shiba Kamini are hosting Moneymakers 8. 
and the Young Remix Killers are hosting Little Waiters. Uh, in the NFL, Friday's game, we have the 49ers up against the Cardinals. And we'll finish off the round on the Tuesday with the Dallas Cowboys taking on the New York Giants. So that's pretty much it uh, for week eight. Uh, Team Mazza still filthy. He's been sending out trades to everyone. They've all got them. No one wants to even talk to him about them. He's getting pissed off. But, you know, like I said to him, maybe people are happy with their team. Maybe people are happy that they don't want to move anyone on or basically they don't like him. So it's a bit like trying to trade with the Brown, just out of, um, I don't know, just out of disdain for the Brown, you don't trade with him. That's the way I look at it, but in saying that, I did trade with him earlier in the year. Um, so yeah, that's week eight, week eight of the FNFL. Hope you've all enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn your notifications on so you'll know when the cash is on board. All right, guys, that's it from me tonight. Have a good night, and I'll speak to you tomorrow with a preview of week nine of the FNFL. Thanks, guys. That's the cash out.